And it's on. Hello, I'm David Toby. I've uh, been honored from the uh, the uh, Music Conservatory to be their honorary al alumni. And I just want to say that it's been a very, very close relationship for many, many years. It started here when I was about 12 years old, about 19, 1965. And um, I, I, in a way, I've never left. Even when I performed tonight, I had a very clear image of my own teacher on stage performing. He was a very uh, temperamental Romanian, had a gorgeous sound, and I had that image very closely uh, in my mind when I performed. And uh, it was an awesome experience to have him as a teacher. And, uh, it was a, a wonderful school, it still is, and um, I'm honored to be part of it and to contribute what I can. How did, first of all, who was your teacher? Uh, Gabriel Bonat. Oh, okay. Um, it should have, when you said Romanian, I should have made the connection, right? With him? Um, but let me ask you, how did it shape your career? I mean, you do so many different things, but like... Well, well, what happened was, is my, my, my parents, my mother was an accomplished pianist and piano teacher, my father was an accomplished artist, and I grew up in the arts very closely, like my, uh, my playground was uh, in back of galleries, and uh, I spent a lot of time in museums as a young child, copying Rubens and uh, other great masters, and I um, started the violin actually uh, in public school, like any other student in fourth grade, but it seemed quickly that you know, I should continue, and, and uh, at a dinner party that my parents hosted, um, Gabriel Bernat was a guest, and he heard that I played the violin. And so this guy barges into my room when I, I was a really young kid, and I said, who, who the heck is this? And he said, play violin for me. And I said, oh God, okay. So I played violin, I wasn't very advanced, but he ran to my mother and says, I want him as a student now, you know? So that, you know, that was that, and I became a student, and he inspired me to become a violinist because he was, a, you know, just a gorgeous violinist, passionate player who played on a Strad, and, um, you know, he premiered, what, you know, the Bartok Violin Concerto. He studied with Bartok and Georgianesco, and uh, he inspired me, and when I heard his playing, I said, I got to know how to do that. So that was that. and. Uh, but I but I painted all along, and actually I started painting when I was like three years old. And uh, in fact, when I was a senior in high school, um, you know, I was kind of schizophrenic. I wanted to be an artist, or a mother said, I should be a violinist. And I was going to pre-college Juilliard, and I, and I made a deal with my parents that I would audition for Juilliard only, and if I got in, I would become a violinist. If I didn't, I became become a, uh, an artist. And when we, my mother got the call from the school that I was accepted, she was so excited. I said, oh no. So I knew what my future was going to be. But I never left the art. And uh, in about year 2000, I went back to painting in a, in a very, very big way. And I haven't stopped. And uh, every, every show I do, I, I add, you know, 10, 15, 20 new paintings. And uh, I love it. It's part of me. Did, did your music uh, well, it, education kind of play into any of the art? Oh, absolutely. And in fact, uh, when people who don't know me ask, looked at my paintings and they say, are you a musician? Because they could feel the rhythm and the, the balance and all this that is very musical in it. And some, uh, one time a reviewer uh, in the city from one of my shows said that he felt my paintings were a, a visual synthesis of music. And uh, so it's all, it's all the same to me. You know, it's weird. I've been interviewing like alumni or alumnus uh, who haven't been here in a while or it's been a couple of years. You never really left. So, I mean, you, you can kind of look at this place on so many different levels. Your wife teaches here, you know. Well, my kids went here also. Your kids went here also. And it's funny, like, Elliot Magaziner, who's one of the, the, on the violin faculty, I remember, uh, you know, when I was studying here as a young kid, uh, you know, I think he was the other teacher. 
you know, my teacher, and then it was Elliot. I don't even know if he was teaching in the conservatory at that time, but, you know, I knew of him way, way back, you know, about 50, 50 years ago, really. You know, Crazy. So. Has it changed? No, it still has the same focus, you know, uh, it's a warm place, uh, it, it, it loves kids, it loves music, and you know, it, it's in the end it's just all in the music, you know, it's not a, it's not a critical place with kids, the kids aren't scared or frightened, you know, it's, it's warm and nurturing and that's the way it was way back then. And, and, well, well, congrats. Congrats. Oh.